In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the structure of labels and groups, and codes for that matter, in Studio Code. It's important to have an understanding of this structure when you're building the code window so you can effectively leverage their power in other tools in Studio Code, namely the matrix and the sorter. So let me just demonstrate first that of these seven instances that I've coded in the uh, timeline here, if I hover over an instance, you can see that on all of these instances, there are two labels, one for the direction which the taxi entered, the intersection, and the other for the maneuver that it made, whether it went straight or made a turn. So let me open the matrix here on the timeline, and we're not gonna cover the matrix heavily, I just want to open it and give you a sense of how the labels and groups uh, are manifested here in the matrix. So you can see that code buttons, namely the taxi, blue taxi button in the code window, translate to rows in the matrix. Conversely, labels, these yellow buttons, translate to columns. And remember, if I double click here on north, and just to open this inspector, the group was created by entering the name here for any given label. So you should always assign labels to groups, and thus the group now is translated over to the matrix as this overarching uh, concept that helps categorize your labels. So in the matrix, now I know that in the taxi row, I have two instances that have the south label on it, right? And the groups just help visually organize the columns. So I'll close the matrix. Let me close the inspector. And now I'll demonstrate this, uh, how some of this information pays you back in the sorter. Again, I'm not gonna cover this too heavily, but if I select the instances and I click sorter, it'll take these instances and dump them into what we call the sorter window. And now you can see that uh, each row here is an instance. Actually, let me hit position and that'll sort of organize. Uh, let me click it again. That'll sort of organize my windows here a little more neatly. So the timeline's up on the top right now. The sorter's at the bottom, but each row in the sorter is an instance. So this first instance is in the taxi row. It's instance number one. This column is called transcription, which I won't cover right now, but you can see that the labels are neatly displayed per instance here. And then they're categorized in columns by the group name here at the top. So in terms of looking at your data uh, at a glance or maybe more in a spreadsheet style like this, the groups translate to column headers, labels populate into those corresponding columns. And of course, the code buttons translate to row names in their own column here. So hopefully seeing the matrix and the sorter give you a little better idea of sort of the domino effect of creating labels and groups in the code window initially and how those trickle down in other analysis tools in Studio Code. Thanks for watching.